morning and welcome to my morning routine. I always try to start the day by getting out of bed by 7.30. And I will say that sometimes I will wake up and I will scroll and I will check emails. But the one thing about doing that is I feel like if I can clear that email inbox, there's no sort of looming anxiety about, is there something in there that I need to address right away? And kind of gives me that peace of mind that I can enjoy myself in the morning and that I've already sort of done like a gut check. I work for myself and I have a team and I a lot of the team is around the world. So checking in in the morning is just unnecessary. So getting that off my plate right away allows me to take a deep breath and a sort of like sigh of relief and then just kind of get into my next steps. So once I wake up, I will make the bed and then I will brush my teeth and shower and do my skincare. So let's get that started and we'll go into my bathroom. Out of the shower, I wash my face already. This is the face wash that I use. It's the La Mer Foaming Cleanser and it is amazing. A little goes a long way. You only need like a pea-sized amount and it gets this amazing lather and you feel squeaky clean without feeling dried out or stripped or anything like that. Next up, I do my hair and I use the Mountain and Gets Hair Pomade. This is a really nice all day product that I find doesn't, it's not too like crunchy or it's not too molded. It's the right amount. It's good for every day and it dries really nicely. So I'll take a pretty liberal amount and then rub it through my hair like this, comb it over with my fingers because I just kind of like that natural look and it dries nicely. I don't use a comb. I really never have used a comb. Next in the skincare routine, I use a serum and I've been liking this one from Eighth Day. It is a light serum, but it feels super hydrating and I basically take a half dropper amount or maybe a little more than a half dropper amount. So about that much. And then I will put it on my forehead and my cheeks and then in my beard. Just sort of lightly massage it into the skin. Next is the moisturizer. I use the Augustinus Butter Rich Cream. This is exactly what it sounds like, a very rich and heavy cream. But the formula is not overwhelmingly rich. Like you don't feel like it's a nighttime cream. It very much feels like an all day cream and it very much lasts all day. So what I do is I put a little bit on my hand, about four pumps, just like that. And then I will do the same method and dab it onto my forehead, and my cheeks, and in the beard. And then I'll just massage it in. Last step is eye cream. I also use the eye cream from Augustinus Butter, and I take a very small amount on my ring finger, and we're going to dab this under the eyes, and this should solve all of my life's problems in a matter of seconds. One thing I forgot is the shaving. So I use this Philips One Blade shaver, and I'm just gonna touch up up here today. Like I don't think I need to actually trim here. I just like to cut a little bit to the cheekbone to just make it look like I don't, uh, in fact, work from home all day and don't have an excuse to get ready. That's much better. It's all cleaned up. Ideally, I would have done that before I even got in the shower so I wiped off all of the beard trimmings, but that's okay. This is my morning routine. Okay, skincare routine is done. Now I'm going to go to the closet. We're gonna pick out something to wear today. Again, I'm working from home, so I don't get dressed up today. This is very real. Uh, very rarely would I ever need to get dressed up in anything other than sweatpants, but I will show you what I do and how I sort of get myself feeling like I am getting ready for the day and for work, and it's not just like a sit around and watch YouTube all day kind of a day. So let's head to the closet.
and Zoe, I always try to clean my kitchen at night so that when I wake up in the morning, the kitchen is completely clean and fresh because there's nothing worse than trying to start your day and be productive and positive and your kitchen is full of dirty dishes. I then just empty the dishwasher and then it's time to get ready to make breakfast. Literally, I make the same breakfast every single day for a very long time and that consists of two eggs, about two egg whites, and I love the Applegate chicken and maple turkey sausage. I take two of those, and then I take roasted red peppers, the jarred red peppers, and then I wrap that all in one of the carb balance wraps, which is super delicious. That is what I literally make every single day, and it's very satisfying, and I have never really gotten into the breakfast of like, you know, if you're trying to eat healthy and trying to stay fit, uh, there's a lot of different programs out there, specifically for men, and that just like the, the recipes and the food don't taste good. And for some people, there are many different, uh, you know, some people don't care. Some people just wanna get the food in and hit their macros and do all that. That's not me, never has been. I've always been more creative with what I eat and I've always tried to find different recipes and things that uh, I get excited about. I use the app Fit Men Cook a, a lot. Uh, I'll leave a link for that below, but basically it's like he shows you, you can hit all the same macros without having to just eat ground turkey and egg whites all day. You can actually get more creative. So he's inspired me with many, many of the meals that I've made and the recipes that I choose, which I can share uh, if you're interested in. I also make my coffee. I, as you see, I have two coffee machines and it depends on my mood and how much time I have of what kind of coffee I'm gonna make. I'm either gonna do a quick and dirty Keurig, uh, which hits the spot for me. Honestly, I love drip coffee and there's something about that in the winter that gets me, you know, that just like really is exactly what I need in the morning. But I also have the Breville espresso machine. So today I'm making the, I don't know what you would call it. It's not quite a cappuccino or a latte because there's not a lot of milk in it, but I basically do a double shot of espresso. And I take a little bit of this sugar-free oat milk from Chobani that I really like and a little splash of creamer just for a little sweetness and taste. And then I'll froth that on the low one setting so it's not too frothy. And then that kind of makes my little mini latte concoction macchiato. And then I will set the counter and sit there and eat my breakfast and scroll my phone a little bit, but I try not to do it at my desk. I try to actually do that away from my desk and I enjoy my breakfast in peace before the craziness begins. breakfast, I come into my office and I'm lucky enough to work from home, which if you work from home, you know has its pros and cons. I struggle with keeping myself productive every single day. So one of the things that I do to hold myself accountable is to write out my top three tasks for the day in my daily planner. I've talked about this daily planner a few times on my channel and on TikTok, and I really believe in using a tool that will help you stay on track and help you stay productive. And for me, that is sitting down at my desk before I even turn my computer on, before I start getting into email and Slack, I open up this planner and I write out my tasks for the day. I really like that this planner has a spot for the top three tasks so that you can make sure that you are keeping yourself accountable and that you are running down the things that you wanna to achieve today. These aren't things that you're trying to do uh, for the month or for the year. These aren't big overarching goals. These could be as simple as meal prep for the week and send that scary email that you've been dreading and maybe start uh, you know, the, the shell of a report document, for example. These are things that you really think you can achieve that day. So I use this planner every single day. I sit down at my desk and I fill it out and I find that having this open next to me throughout the day keeps me accountable and on track. And plus it's just really satisfying to cross something off. Once I'm done with planning out my day with my daily planner, which takes me literally five minutes or less to do, I keep it open next to my desk and then it's time to get into my day. That was it for the morning routine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not already, please subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. I'm posting new videos every single week. I'm aiming for two uploads a week. Maybe you wanna see a day in my life or a night routine. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you in the next one.